First thing we're going to do is give your thoughts and then my thoughts on yours on the Dallas-Fort Worth market, mine on the Metro Atlanta real estate market. What's going on? Tell everybody what opportunities you see for people in your real estate market, Tammy. The opportunities are that for if you have tried to buy, and we're about to be approaching a season where a lot of leases are coming up for renewal or expiration, you know, when we hit that spring market, most leases will fall somewhere in a school year. So you're talking about, you know, right after spring break, all the way through August, there are renewals of leases that are happening or leases are, you know, the termination dates coming up when the lease ends. And so a new tenant's either gonna be moving in. It's also a time that a lot of people who are moving with corporate relocations, they will end up leasing and lease somewhere for a year till they get to know the DFW market area and decide what suburb they wanna settle in. So there's a uh, lot of people that will go from being tenants to being homeowners. Correct, okay. and now it's a great time. And yep. so as far as opportunity goes, what opportunities do I see this year that I've not seen in several years past? And that is an opportunity for a tenant to become a buyer. Um, we're not in that season of 20 and 30 offers. Um, the, the housing pricing has kind of stabilized a bit, you know, given any kind of month, we may be 2% higher than last year. We may be 2% lower than last year, yeah. uh, but the interest rate has also come down. So right now, if, if you're a tenant in the DFW area, I would say, you know, be making a phone call to a, a lender and start getting some free approval letters and get out there because now's a great time to buy for tenants. And I echo uh, pretty much everything you've said. You know, if you feel like as a buyer, you've been sitting on the sidelines, you might have opportunity now that you didn't have. And I'm not saying you do or you don't. I'm just saying you might have it and you need to have a conversation with someone who can tell you what opportunities you might have. And as a home seller, remember, when there are more opportunities for you to buy homes and there's less competition to buy those homes, it could be that you feel like you've been stuck in your home as a homeowner, as a potential seller for the last two or three years. And it could be that there's no reason to do that. And Tammy, I read a survey that said 73% of the people who bought homes in 2021 and 2022 wish they had bought something different. Wow. Can you, now, I don't know that that's true. Uh, it, it seems like it could be because it's almost like they were forced into buying homes because they had to make higher offers and they had to go crazy and they had to move fast and they had to do no inspections and all this kind of stuff. And in many cases, I'm sure they came to the conclusion that, hey, wait, I should have bought something a little bit different. And it could be that that group of people is going to start to see opportunities to be able to move forward. So price is still moving in the right direction in DFW. Price is still moving in the right direction in Atlanta. The markets are still very strong, although they were a little less active than last year yours was much closer to the same activity in 2022 or 2023 is 2022 Atlanta was off about 15 percent in terms of unit sales so lots of opportunities everywhere mm -hmm.